What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we just got a little video. Uh, I'm just chilling at Vasa. Uh, we're just going to talk a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is just a couple few topics you'll see from the title of what you're getting into. I don't really like making these videos, but I have to. It's just part of the server. You know, I have to get the communication out there. I have to. Um, you know, that's one that we'll, we'll talk about in a bit. Hey, nice. Arcane Prayer Scroll. But um, yeah, you know, as a private server owner, I have to, I have to keep the information out there. And I have to make videos like this to sort of just... Explain the thought process of things and where we're at and, and all that shit. And I guess maybe, you know, kind of goes hand in hand with being, being a YouTuber as well. Uh, but a big part of why I don't like these videos is I just think they're boring and I don't, I don't give a shit. You know, what, I, I just, I, I don't personally like them. So why would I, I, I usually try to code things and make the videos that I would like. I make videos that I would myself watch, like the, you know, the loot froms and whatnot, the it's from scratches, all that kind of stuff is entertaining to me, so I make those videos. And then as a private server, I, you know, I develop things that I like, you know, stuff that, you know, content that fits me. That's just the, the way I see it fit, you know, and I hope that other people have the similar interests or similar tastes as me. Um, and so then with, like, videos like this, I just, eh, but... I suppose I shouldn't just spend a full minute of the video talking about not wanting to do the video, because that's a great way to get people to keep listening to said video. Anyway, so I have three main topics I want to talk about. These are just some discussions that have come up recently and stuff like that. So the first one is a situation with people just having just no, no disregard for the truth or honesty. People will lie, and they'll lie so easily and quickly that it doesn't even register them as a lie. Like, they believe their lies so fast uh, that it doesn't even... It's not even a lie to them. It's just their version of the events. And when I first noticed that that was a main issue was with um, the handouts and stuff like that. Now, I'm sure a lot of people who had issues with their accounts or had glitches and bug abuses, I'm sure a lot of them genuinely had issues. But most of them didn't. Most of them were just people abusing the system to try to gain items. And the more and more we looked into things, the more and more we found that that was the case. People would always have this to say and that to say, but most people, I would say a good majority, if, you know, if, I had, if 10 people had issues, I'd say six of them were probably lying completely or exaggerating their claims. So that was a big contributor in why we just stopped doing stuff like that, because we weren't even really helping the people who needed it. The people who needed it, you know, would either chalk it up to a loss or would get helped immediately with, you know, small, small, small realistic issues. And then you'd have people abusing the system that just got to a point where there was too many people abusing the system compared to the amount of people who were actually helping. And that's kind of come into play with account help and account security. Um, and I suppose that's really my fault. Uh, in the past, they've been kind of lax. If you had issues with your account or whatever, I was pretty easy to get a hold of and pretty easy to get you the information without much, um, I don't know, security or whatever. But there became an instance where somebody hacked somebody because his name was literally his password. His password was just his name. He got hacked, but he had a pin, and then he um, messaged me on Discord giving the pin back. I just gave the pin back. So it's 100% my fault, obviously. We shouldn't just give people, random people, their accounts back. But... That's what we did. We gave the dude his pin, and he got hacked because of it. So that was 100% my fault. I'm the one that did it. And ever since then, we've obviously been trying to not do that again. And what I've noticed is most of the people claiming that they're they're trying to get an account back are, are just 100% straight up lying. I uh, it's it's crazy because like I don't want to accuse people of that. You know, like it's a, such a terrible situation. There, like you know, if you've actually forgotten your information or if you got hacked or something like that and you want to go and you know get your account information but you know you want to get your account back you try to message a server and then the server just calls you a liar you know i, I don't want to do that you know i think that's the worst thing i can imagine is falsely accusing somebody of lying but the thing is we've got pretty good proof and pretty good logs and we can tell that you're just straight up lying so i'll talk a little bit more about exactly what people lie about so people will lie and say that they've forgotten the password to this account right so what we do whenever that happens, whenever someone has forgotten their account, or their their information, we usually compare it to another existing account. So let's just say I have another account called Panda Bear, and this is my account, JMO. So I would search JMO, and I would search Panda Bear, and I would compare the information. So when I say compare the information, I mean there's really two things. UID, which is... Um, it's kind of hard to replicate. You could have some weird scenarios where you would have create you know it's really not any one number it's everything together um so you have that you have the the uid you have their actual ip address and whenever you have an ip address um sometimes it's not always the case 
but sometimes your internet provider is a part of the IP address. Like you'll see Comcast, you'll see um, whatever. And so sometimes you can see what internet provider somebody has. So you can obviously see if that one of them is one internet provider and the other one is another internet provider. That's really hard to fake. You could have instances where their, their, their host or their IP, whatever, changes. Some people have dynamic ones where it's always different. But you'll rarely ever have instances where a person changes their internet provider. I mean, and where I live, that's not even really a possibility. I don't think we could change out of Comcast. We need Comcast, or we have nothing. That's really all we've got. Um, but I know other circumstances are different. That's why I say it's not really, it's never really one definitive thing. It's the multitude. It's it's everything combined. So you have that, and then we have a ton of different other factors. Uh, if you first log in, and let me um, let me just teleport here. So if you make a brand new account, and this is advice for everybody who wants to like confirm that this is your account and secure your account because that's really what it's all about it's about your account and you securing your account this is all from my point of view as a person trying to help you get your account back but it all starts with you in the first place if you didn't have your password as your name we wouldn't have been in that predicament um i'm victim blaming but anyway so so you log in for the first the, the second time i guess it's going to prompt you with this information right here account security management now this is completely used for the sole purpose of confirming your identity. No, you don't have to give actual information. If you don't feel like giving your private server these information, I understand that. I probably would never give the server my real email address anyways. You don't have to. You could just put Pandabear as your name. And then just Pandabear... At, at, you could just put just gibberish. It doesn't exactly matter what you put. I would recommend putting something you'll remember because if you just put gibberish, that doesn't really help you. But my point is, if you put your full name as Panda Bear, you put in a Panda Bear at gmail.com, Panda Bear, my recovery answer is Panda Bear's backup email, Panda Bear 69 gmail.com. You would put just all that random information that means nothing to you. That's going to get saved to your account. And then whenever we look up your account, we're going to see that information. So if you have information set, and someone is claiming to be you, and they don't know the information, and there's information set, obviously they can't claim to be you. So there was a recent incident where a person claimed that they were another person, and there's just absolutely no proof that it's even possible. They were claiming that the two were duo partners, and they needed to get the duo account back, but the two accounts had never once communicated or even traded. So how would you be a duo partner with somebody you've never traded them, which defeats the point of duo in the first place, and they've never said a word to you? All of the information doesn't match up. Why would we, we can't, in that situation, we can't give you your account back. And you're probably thinking, well, what about hackings? Well, we have, like I said, we have logs and I don't want to show them or go into the full extent of what we do have because it helps people take advantage of it and abuse it and try to get, a, you know, fi find ways around it. But we do have logs and we have the ability to track what, what IPs are logging into what accounts. We have, we have tons of different things that can be used together to confirm identity. And so if you have forgotten your account or you have any account related issues and you message us and you have no way of confirming your account, there's nothing we can do for you. And it's in most cases where there's an actual, like they just straight up forgot their password, it's super simple. I just search JMO, I find the JMO GFFFFG, I compare the information, I find out that the JMO is this guy, I give him his account back. That's as simple as it would be. But I really want to make a point of showing it because it's it's just it's it's becoming an issue. Like don't if don't don't waste our time lying. I really I, I it's so annoying to be in a situation where like I'm trying to help somebody. This person you know theoretically needs help, right? They can't get their account back. We obviously all as a as a group want the player count to be higher, so them playing is very beneficial to us. So I want to help them out, and then they're just straight up lying and wasting all of the time. Like I went through, checked everything I could possibly could just to find one thing that possibly meant that the two people were connected, the two accounts were connected. And there was zero. There was nothing. It was literally nothing. Different IPs, different names, different whatever. And then there was another situation where the person um, was trying to find an account, and he had the actual information, his information. And it was his name. Like, it was, it was his name. It, the emails were different, but everything else was the same. And it was, it was super easy to compare that the two people were the same. And he got his account back. So if you want to make sure and keep your account safe, that is all you have to do. You don't have to put real information. We're not trying to, like, get your data and sell your data to Chinese. I, you know, it's nothing like that. We're never going to email you those emails. The only people that even have the ability to see that would be me and Dark. And um, like I said, we're, we're never going to use those emails to email you or anything like that. You can put a completely fake thing. Just remember it. Just remember what you put. That way you can verify your account if you did forget. Also, if you have your password as your name, don't do that. I mean, I'm surprised the guy had a pin in the first place, but yeah. So that's, that's the first one. Don't lie about accounts. There's no point. You're just massively wasting our time. Um, and and, and if, if, you, if you're like a repeat offender and you're, do, you're deliberately doing it like on purpose, which I'm sure people might, I don't, I don't know. 
um, then you're a dick. <laughs> and we're probably going to say serious punishment. But that's my first one I want to talk about. We'll talk about uh, the next one, which was staff and people reporting staff. Uh, so this has kind of come up in a few different areas, areas where... Um, people don't like the structure that I've set up for the server, where, where you don't, you, you basically don't get a hold of me. That is 100% by design. There's zero point, in my opinion, to have staff if you don't let the staff do their jobs, right? So Puma is in charge of the staff team. He can demote the helpers. He can promote helpers. I think he can do anything to anybody below him. I don't think he can do anything to the community managers, but he technically could if he, you know, goes around me. But he has the ability to control that staff. He has outright ability to choose new staff members. If you want to get a staff position on the server, I'm the last person who can help you. Do not talk to me. Um, I know people think that this is an error or a mistake or an inconvenience. It is, but I don't want to talk to you. I never want to talk to you ever. Um, I, I learned quite a while back in one of my burnouts that I was just wasting too much time talking to people who only want attention. That's it. Their only goal is to just get attention. Doesn't matter what they say, doesn't matter what I say, doesn't matter how, it's just attention. Like, you'll see them in chat, and you know who they are. There's, I mean, there's people that are way more obvious than others. And they don't actually have conversations with people. They don't actually say things to people. They're just saying something out loud, like just typing a, ch a really random message, bacon pancakes, and they're just kind of going with whatever matters they, like anybody who reacts to it they're gonna feed off of and it's completely just to argue with people and get attention that's it just a, a minimal a minimal amount of tension on a private server is is amazing to these people and what's good about it is those same exact people can easily be defeated by just not giving them the attention that's it that's all you got to do they just they get they get bored they're, they get super sad. They'll they'll try. Oh, they'll say like negative. They'll probably try to irk you, say something negative, um, try to flame bait. I don't know. They're they're they'll try, but just don't buy into it. And that goes for for you guys as players as well, not just me as the owner of the server or staff. Just ignore them. They, they want attention, so if you give them attention, they're winning. It doesn't matter if you punk, straight pwn them. You call them a nerd boy. And they're like, oh, I'm sad. You call me a nerd boy. It doesn't matter. It, it, there's no winner. There's no loser. If you engage, it's like Twitter arguments. If you engage in an argument, you lost already. It doesn't matter the actual winner, the outcome. No one knows the difference. Everybody's a loser involved. And that's what it is with some of those people. Now, there's some people that are just dicks. Some people that are just trolls. But those people that, that clearly just desperately want attention, you just can't give it to them. And I, I realized that I was just spending too much time giving them attention. I don't know if I was trying to ban them, mute them, punish them, talk to them, reason with them. Not, not, none of it ever made a difference. The outcome was never changed. I always lost. And so, moving forward, uh, what I realized with the server is the main thing that matters, the main thing that's keeping the show going, the main reason we're all here is updates. Just people want to see the game that they enjoy get updated with some new features that they enjoy. It's a kind of a grindy game, and it's easy. So it's a, it's, it's a really easy game, and that's just kind of the nature of private servers. People want to play private servers because they're easy. But the downside of that is you accomplish your goals much easier than you would if you were playing the actual game or something like that. So you get bored, and you want new content to satisfy you. I understand that. That's not lost on us. That's what I want to do. That is what I want to focus on because that is, that, I mean, that's really all I can do, right? I'm the, I'm the, the, the main developer. I'm the one responsible for most of the content. 99% of the content that comes out is done by me now there's and i'm not you know saying dark doesn't do anything like that he's he's massively helpful he's a better developer than i am it's just i'm the main one that's doing the most stuff constantly and because of that i don't want to waste any development time giving some random dude attention on the internet i've just i've given up doing that i'm not willing to anymore and if you're looking for that from the server or from me it's not happening i'm, I'm sure people will probably will fall for your bait in game they usually do and there's a and, you know this will be a, a thing up until the end of time this isn't even a private server issue it's just a people issue some people just don't get enough attention at home for whatever reason and they become attached to it and, and addicted to it and they, it doesn't really matter how they get it if it's negative or positive attention is attention to these people so what is the point what is this point how does this all apply and to staff um so it, it just comes to this like i don't i don't want to be uh, handling those things that I don't need to handle because I think that staff members could easily handle those jobs. So why not have staff that are focused on those things? So if you need to get a hold of me for whatever reason, don't. 
If if you I mean, do I mean if you have an account issue, that's really the only reason you should get a hold of me. Is if you have an account issue, or if you have a suggestion. Those are the only things I'm handling nowadays. Anything that only I specifically can do. As far as this person was mean to me, this person said this and that. I don't care. There's other staff members. Talk to them. Um, and now, if you have a staff member that you don't like or you think abuses their power, that is obviously something you should come to me or Puma about. But if you do that, if you have issues with somebody, please provide additional information or, or proof, pictures, anything. We've had um, people that just, they basically just say, oh, this person was super mean to me, they're, they're a jerk, I don't want to play this server anymore because they exist. Now, the people who are saying these messages are kind of known trolls. So if all I know is that you're a known troll that's always getting punished, and you're accusing a staff member of, of doing something without absolutely any proof or screenshots, or really even like a good idea of what they're doing. That's the one that's kind of confusing, is they'll talk shit about somebody, but they're not actually like saying what they did wrong, they're just kind of like complaining to me. Oh, this person was a terrible person, they abu the, but they don't ever like give specifics. So if you actually have a complaint about staff members doing something wrong, I would want to hear that. That's, that's a big deal. That's important. But if you don't include any information, I don't know what the hell you want me to do. I'm not even going to reply back. I'm, I'm they're just not going to waste any time. Be like, oh, okay, well, what did they do to you? Oh, he was mean to me. Well, how was he mean to you? Oh, he said this. Well, why did he say that? You know, I, I don't, I'm not going to put that effort in. If you're not even going to put in the effort to, like, correctly report someone, I just am immediately going to assume it was a troll, especially if you are a known troll. So my point is, I, you know, I, I'm not absent. If you don't see from me, that's that's because I don't want you to see from me. I don't, I don't want to talk anymore. Um, I, I've got, I've run out of fucks to give is the best analogy I can probably use to describe the situation. I want to focus on coding because that's the most important thing. Now that, in my opinion, that is the most important thing. Let's talk about the last topic. That is the second most important thing that is advertisements. So that's a big one that, um, we'll talk about. And I came, I started um, on a stream recently, a dude, uh, I think I'll say his, it is a reindeer, right? Johnny Stone reindeer. I hope you are the same exact person. I'm not like. Hey, we just got Jared Darnes. That's fun. I'm not confusing with someone else, but I think it was him. And I'm not like calling him out. It was I'm just like saying, giving him the credit for bringing up the discussion. So the discussion was about advertisements. We don't need a lot of money for the server. Why don't you give us advertisements? Why is the server not getting advertisements? I can Google the server and find out that not a lot of videos are being made. This is very true, and I don't want to get into it too much because the more I talk about it, the more this video is going to spiral off into a massive rage. Um, but I'll just get, I'll try to get the main points across. So the first one is we're trying, we're trying. It isn't, it isn't a lack of trying, um, but it's not easier than you, it's not as easy as you might think. You might think it's as simple as just messaging YouTuber. Hello, I have a server. I would love a video. I have money. I want to give you that money and make a video for my server. It's not always that easy. You have a lot of issues. So I won't get into specifics because, like I said, I said in a stream one time I talked about the full thing, and and then I've explained why I didn't want to get into specifics. But I guess that doesn't really help you here. I it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. If I tell you what happened, you'll believe who you want to believe. If you like me, you'll believe me. If you like the other person, you'll believe the other person. But long story short, we paid for two videos and did not end up getting either video. Um, the video instead was the person releasing their own server. So they released their own server on the day they were supposed to do the video for us, even though we already paid and scheduled it and had it ready to go. So basically got scammed twice by the exact same YouTuber. Um, nothing I can really do about it. Like I said, if I call him out or make some video like that, there's nothing to gain from that because people will believe him. If they like him, they'll believe me if they like me. But the actual outcome won't be different. I'll still have been scammed out the money. There will still be no video made and nothing changed. So that's it, you know. We have to call it a wash, you know, call it a bad day, learning experience, move on, right? The problem with that is it's not um, so easy to move on because there's not a... It's just, it's hard because, like, you can message YouTubers and then never get a reply back. And I'm going to edit out a lot here, so let me figure out how to... So I'm going to edit out the names, but you can see here, this is when I messaged the person asking if they're free for a schedule anytime soon. You can see I got my first reply back 10 days later. And then I replied back, hey, man, no worries. And we will see. We will, I mean, this is, you can see the timestamp. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if the video ever happens. I have money. I like this person a lot. I, we want to we wanna do a deal together. It can't happen. 
Um, a big part of that could be some YouTubers will do exclusive deals with the big servers because the big servers have the ability to just do that. They have the ability to pay them a massive amount to like to buy that exclusivity. And in my experience, YouTubers will happily fuck even if they're people you like, they will happily fuck you over to go suck Ikov's dick. They will they will, immediately. They, it's not even it's not even really a, a debate or question. The second Ikov says, "Come here," they're they're on their way, and, and my video is delayed a couple weeks. That's just the life of being a small YouTuber that, you know, you know, it is what it is, right? All right, well, why don't you just go to a different YouTuber? Well, here we have a same message, the same date, 420. Hey, dude, it's been a while since we've done a video. Let's try to schedule one. I have not gotten a reply back from this person, so we will see if I ever do. So I know what you're thinking. All right, well, there's other ways to advertise. You don't just have to do YouTube. Well, let's check a look at that then. All right, so we got some nice rune locusts. Hey. It is May 2nd. You would think at the beginning of a month would probably be the time. And I actually didn't check this beforehand, so I could totally make myself look like an ass here. But let's check advertising right at the top. Advertising. We click advertising. We'll just click it one more time. There are no available advertisement slots. Please try again later. This is RuneMocus. RuneMocus.com slash advertising. There is literally nothing we can do. You can have all of the money in the world. I mean, I suppose all of the money in the world would, would be I mean, we could go to, like, Jake Paul and get a video. But, I mean, I just mean, like, it's having the money doesn't make a difference. There's, you know, there's a lot of other aspects to it. Um, as a YouTuber who used to do advertisement videos back in the day, I, um, you know, I, I have to deal with those shenanigans from the other side. So when I became, a, you know, the owner of the server, I always knew how to treat YouTubers with respect, right? I would schedule the video. I would follow through. That was an issue a lot. You'd have people want a video and then never reply to you ever again. Uh, I'd follow through. I would pay before they even have to make the video. They have the money in their hand. They can do whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. They don't give a shit. They'll scam you. They'll go to Ikov. It, there's nothing you can do. Uh, Rune Locus might work. I honestly have no clue because they're almost always unavailable. If the website has advertisements available, you don't want them. You don't want them. They're available for a reason. So I, I, I understand the concern, right? I, 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 the only thing I want you to take away from this video is that it's not ignorance or incompetence or greed. We just want to keep your money and not get advertisement videos. It makes more sense to have advertisement videos. You get more players. You make more money. It would be better for everybody if we could, but it's just not as simple as that. Especially considering I have, you know, beef with some YouTubers that are already, like, we just can't make videos because, you know, we have, uh, we've, they've done shit to me in the past or I've done shit to them in the past. It's, it's just one of those things where it sucks. You, we have, we got to deal with it. We got to keep fighting. We got to keep messaging the YouTubers and hope that they do come through. If they ever do, you'll see the videos. Um, uh, that's a main reason why I still make these videos is because, you know, even though everyone watching this video might not play the server or might play the server, there's still people who will randomly sh have it show up in their suggestions or recommendations. They might like the server, think it looks interesting, and check it out. That's better than nothing. And so if I can't get those advertisements out, I'm trying to get these ones out. And I don't want to just make these shitty videos that no one wants to watch. I want to make actual good videos. So I do have a 10 hours of Outbreak video that I'm working on that's going to be out soon. I don't know what the point of this video was. I was going to include a straw poll um, and talk about what you guys want to see next, but we've already decided our schedule. It's going to be uh, Resume BI. That command was added yesterday, so that's already out. Um, and then the next update is just hopefully going to be Friday, which will be Elite Ashes Dungeon. And then the week after, it might actually take a little bit longer because it's bigger than the last two. Um, but we're gonna do the re we're gonna release the new augmented items, the new augmented stuff, the augmented garage rapier, all that shit. We haven't figured out exactly what we want to do, how we want to do it, but that'll be coming out soon. Um, yeah, just try. We're trying hard. If you don't see as much communication from me, I, I, I'm still here. Like, I I, I want to do whatever you guys want to do. If you think me talking more and doing these shitty videos, I, I need to stop calling it shitty because it's. Me doing these videos where I just talk and give you an update on the, 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 the thought process of, you know, of how things are going. We can do that. Uh, you know, I've, 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 done, I've done it both ways. I've done no communication whatsoever. Don't, don't say anything. The update just gets released when it gets released. I've done the constant communication. You know what I'm working on as I'm working on it. And I don't think either of them are good. Um, it's probably my fault. I don't, I don't uh, I dissolve myself of that. But at the same time... We're working with what we got to work with. I don't know. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye.